good and sturdy still it should be fine so you might have seen in that time lapse assuming I weed with that that I've been uh, I read about this nice uh, method to touch off if you don't have a Z probe and you don't want to mess with Z uh, limit switches you take like a dowel pin or an M8 uh, smooth shaft or something like that this is actually a 10 millimeter dowel pin and you can roll it right under there and so once you feel it connect that means you're right at whatever this diameter is and so uh, that keeps you from jamming the bed doing the little paper trick and everything it seems like it works pretty well uh, for me so I've laid down some green painters tape and uh, I think it should probably work just about the same as the blue I'm not sure it's more expensive than the blue but uh, this is what I have later on so uh, I'm ready to try the first print I gotta heat it up and uh, hit go basically Oh, one other step I forgot, um, if you come into uh, repeater here or whatever your G-code sending program is, uh, you can actually send it a G92 with your X. Uh, X is in, uh, I put this at 125, which is halfway across, Y at 125. So you say G92, X125 millimeters for the center of my bed, Y125 millimeters for the center of my bed and Z10, which is what I just measured here. So uh, that'll s tell the machine, hey, this is exactly where you're at right now. So I would call that like an immediate home, um, but that's gonna work until I get some uh, some limit switches wired in, or some home switches basically. So uh, with that, I'm gonna try to do it. This will be my first ever print, so we'll see how it goes. not sticking very well. Who oh, knows? Killing job, killing job. Ah. So I'm going to go ahead and turn the heat up and see if I can get anything better out of it than that. No go. I'm trying with no heated bed and it doesn't seem to be sticking to this painter tape, so I may have to rig up the heater and stuff and get back to it. Alright, I'm going to try 210 real quick just because that one almost looked like it was going to actually stick. Um, it still was holding together into a column pretty well and it was peeling it off, so... Still not doing it, it's pulling it all around everywhere. I think I may need to heat the bed, I guess. I feel like there is some setting that should work, but I, because I think a lot of printers don't have heated beds, but uh, I'm not sure what that is just yet. <laughs>
so uh, it wasn't spitting anything out, so I moved it quite a bit more now. My first part, at least it looks kind of square. Should've, should've heat gunned it. Alright, try a number or something. Six. With heat gun this time. I have a heated bed, I just haven't wired it in yet. The hell? Son of a bitch. Nobody go. The first layer, it looks like it's stuck, so I'm going to let it keep moving on. It's about a 20 minute print, so I'll move the camera and go to high speed mode. right off of there um, not very square and you can see some obvious issues in the top here uh, but that's okay I've you know for a first print that's that's great it looks relatively square I mean these corners are kind of rounded here but it was mushing some stuff around in there and I mean things aren't perfect just yet um, but what I can do is measure him up Let's see if uh, he gets at least somewhat close. Should be 20. He's depending on <laughs> which bumps I get him on here. He's 20 and a quarter, so that's not too bad. 20 and a quarter there, and 10.89 uh, there. So uh, it's not quite in, in dimension yet, but um, I think you know. Obviously, I've got the steps per. Uh, millimeter fine. I've got all the Z stuff's working well. It's not terribly lopsided, so it's coming up evenly. Um, it's not a parallelogram here, so uh, that's pretty good. I'm happy with that. I'll play with some feed rates and stuff and uh, work on this heated bed sooner than later since uh, I'm not going to hold the heat gun up to it every time. So maybe there's a way, or there's a lot of other methods I know uh, to try to get this stuff to stick on non-heated beds, but since I have a nice bed heater uh, that I always planned on using, I'll go ahead and get that guy wired up now. 